Today we're going to be talking about how to get your 10 bit 422 footage into the free version of DaVinci Resolve. What led me to create this video was a user by the name of Open Filmmaker had a problem, could not find tag for our codec in Stream Zero, codec not currently supported in container. So I decided to make an update video on the full workflow, how I would how I would convert my footage and the proxies I would convert and that entire workflow. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. You input your footage and all you get is just this audio. You cannot do anything with it. I got this footage from Newman Films. I just searched the web and found it. So the reasoning is that it's 10-bit 422 footage. DaVinci Resolve will not let you use it on their free version. Okay, so let's go right into the script. If you need help on how to set up the software that's necessary for this to work, please refer to this video. I have it done here. It will help you set up the software you need and the environmental variables. So I'm going to go straight into the script. Okay, so the first line is for Open Filmmaker. If your footage is an MP4, then this line will rename all the files to MOV. That tricks the system into thinking that it's an MOV file and the final output will be an MOV file. The next line is you're creating a folder where your ProRes files will sit after the conversion is done. This next file is the actual conversion ProRes. Profile 3 is the high, highest quality version that you can get. The next line is what's new in this video and it's for proxies. So rather than have DaVinci produce generated media, I create my own proxies because I can control it better and it's portable. I can bring it to any system. I can create this from an outside system and then bring it into my main editing system. And it just saves that time. <clears throat> so this is based on the Windows machine. This I'm creating the proxies with this codec DNX HD. And with this image dimension, because my laptop is just not running very well right now. So I have to have the smallest proxies uh, that I find workable. And it's 854 by 480. So it's 480p proxies. You can change these figures as you like, depending how, on how beefy your computer is. If you use 720p or 1080p proxies, it's really up to you. You can change these figures, but for my sake, my computer can't really handle any more than that. And this time I added a pause. So when everything is done, I can just see if there was any errors and just calmly read the errors and fix if needed. I'm going to run the script. Okay, now that I have my files created, I can go back to the project. And what I will do is, because I have the proxies, I'm going to be working with the proxies. And then when I'm done with my project, I'm going to swap out the proxy files with the original files so I could get the highest quality video output. It's a bit of a kludge, but I don't know any better way. So I don't want to change my settings to match the proxies because remember earlier it was set to 480p. I don't want to change my timeline to that. As you can see, the proxy files even have problems playing, but that's just my computer. Um, on this, on my other computer, it's not much of a problem. As you can see that the footage is now working on my dinky little computer, which has problems. You know, I don't have much issues scrubbing through the footage and that is it I am halfway done with my goal and let's say I, I color grade it so now I'm done color grading it and I don't have issues scrubbing through the timeline now that you're done editing we were working on proxies don't forget that you want the original ProRes converted files this time and we'll relink the files so we're basically swapping out the proxies in favor of the full quality files. Right click relink 
So now we're going to choose the converted folder. These are where the high quality footage is. Yeah, you see the playback isn't working nearly as well. And at this point, you can just output your files and you are done. So it's as simple as the five line script in the description. If you want a more seamless system, then you can always pay for DaVinci Resolve. It's a fine, high quality product and it'll give you even more features than what I'm helping you with you today. And once again, if you haven't got the setup done properly, take a look at this video. It'll walk you through the steps on the software setup. This is just a quick overview and an update on how to get the proxies going as well as a problem that you may encounter. Hope you guys like the video. Share, subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.